So you want to know how to automatically transition, right? I... What's up? Thanks for tuning into this episode. My name is Steve Kuzinski, and today we're going to go over how to add automatic transitions to Google Slides. It's actually really easy to do. You can add transitions to the elements on your slides, so a text box or a block or a picture can pop in, for example. Or you can add transitions to the actual slides themselves, so transitioning from slide one to slide two to slide three. My lips are burning. Is this a plumper? So fasten up your shirt and let's get into the tutorial. So there are a couple different ways we can add automatic transitions to our Google Slides presentation. The first way is to add transitions to the specific elements on the stage. Now these elements, as we can see in this presentation here, Best Video Editor 2019, that's four separate elements that are currently on the stage. And I can add a transition to each separate element. On slide two here, we see that there's two elements the subscribe button in the hand, and on slide three, there's a whole bunch of different elements. The second way we can add automatic transitions is between slides. So I'm sure you've seen it before where you've got slide one, and then slide two slowly fades in or bounces into the screen, something crazy like that. That's the second way you can add transitions to your presentations. Now, the only thing about these slide transitions is that you don't have as much control in Google Slides as you would in a program like Microsoft PowerPoint. The only way you can actually add the automatic transition is after you publish the presentation, and we'll go over that in this video. So let's go ahead and start adding transitions to our elements here. I want to add a fade in to this 2019 text box. So I'm going to select the text box, and then I can either right click and go to animate, or go to view, animations, and that's going to bring up the transitions box over here on the right hand side. So as we can see, it looks like I had already had a transition set fly in from the top. And I'm going to go ahead and click that, start from scratch here. Click Add Animation. That's going to add the default fade in animation to this element. Now I can choose the exact type of animation I want. Let's say we want to do a zoom in. Now the second part here is the timing of this transition. I don't want it to happen on the click, I want this to happen automatically. So we're going to click after previous, and that means after the previous transition is finished, it's going to automatically play this transition. We're going to leave the by paragraph button unchecked. There's only one line in this text box, so it doesn't make sense to break it up by paragraph. But we're going to choose a slightly slower transition to medium, about 2.5 seconds. We're going to click the play button to preview. And this transition automatically started as soon as the presentation loaded, and that's exactly what we wanted because it's exactly how we set. We're going to click Stop. Now let's say we want to add another transition to another element on this screen. I'm going to make this editor fly in. We're going to click the editor, click Add Animation. We're going to select Fly In from the top. And we want this to occur after the previous transition. You know what, let's do it with. We've already got the one set to after, so let's do with. And we're going to let this one go super slow, so about five seconds. We're going to click play. Both transitions happen at the same time. Yep, that's exactly how we set it. We're going to click stop. Now, if we want to take off any particular transition that we set, we simply look at the list here and click the X button next to the transition that we want to get rid of. And that's it. That's how you add automatic transitions to your elements. Now let's go over how to add automatic transitions to your slides. The first thing we have to do is set slide transitions. If you don't have this transitions section open anymore, remember select insert animation. Then we're going to select this arrow pointing to slide no transition. And we're presented with these options. In the drop down menu, we're going to select dissolve. We're going to leave it between medium and fast on the speed, and then we're going to click apply to all slides. So this adds the dissolve transition between every slide in our presentation. Now this type of animation we can actually preview. So we're going to go ahead and click present up at the top. Presentation loads, the first animation takes place. We're going to click the keyboard arrow or the mouse arrow to advance to the next slide and we see that that dissolve transition happened. We can click the arrow again, and our presentation is moving along nicely. We'll click the escape key. Now let's say we want our transitions between slides to happen automatically. 
We don't have these settings here over in our transitions tab, unfortunately. And that's where the limit to Google Slides transitions comes in. The only way we can add automatic transitions to the presentation as it's going is to actually go over to File and click Publish to the Web. Now we're presented with a couple different options here. The first option is to set the auto advanced seconds. And we can select the drop down here and choose any number of seconds that we want. Uh, I'm going to choose every five seconds. We also have a couple different options. We can check the Start Slideshow as soon as the player loads button, which I don't like to check because I like to have that control over the first slide, so I leave that unchecked. We can also check the Restart the Slideshow after the last slide, and I also like to keep that unchecked because I don't mind the last slide being the end of my presentation, and, and that's just a personal preference. Now, if you don't want the last slide to be the end of your presentation, what you can do is create an additional slide at the end that's just a black background, and then that'll signify that the presentation's over. We're going to click Publish. Click OK to the dialog that pops up. Then we're given this link. We're going to right-click, copy this link, open a new tab. Now our presentation's automatically started. Now remember, the 2019 element we said to automatically start after the previous transition. And the previous transition was starting the presentation. So as you notice now, five seconds has passed and that hasn't started the presentation. The slides aren't cross dissolving between one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. So everything's working as expected. What we can do now is select the play button on the bottom left hand side of the screen. And once we hit that play button, then every five seconds are gonna go by and we're gonna get another slide. So let's click play. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Transitions, we'll get another five seconds here and then it should automatically transition to the next slide. Done. So that worked, that worked as expected. One thing I want you to keep in mind is that the five second duration of the transitions that we selected when we click publish to web, it's gonna take five seconds between every single element that's in our presentation. So as we notice on this slide, Every single video editor graphic that's popping up is occurring every five seconds. The transition is occurring every five seconds. And that's where the wonkiness really comes in with the ability to control these transitions is, is kind of clumsy in Google Slides. You would be able to control this a little better in Microsoft PowerPoint. But for a free tool that's found on the internet, I'd say Google Slides does a pretty good job. So that's it. That's how you add automatic transitions to your Google Slides. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? See, automatic transitions are for everybody. You know, I really need to get out of this. If you like this video and you want to find out more, please consider visiting my channel. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of future tutorial videos. I'm here to teach you skills that will help you be a little bit more productive and find your own creative flow. Thanks again for tuning in. My name's Steve Kwasinski, and I'll see you next time.